and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be painting up our Carnosaur. Uh, so we're just doing the Carnosaur, we're not doing the Rider or the Throne. Uh, but uh, we're going to start off with Skeleton Horde. And that's going to be all the fleshy parts of the, the model. Uh, right up to the snout there as you can see. <clears throat> with Skeleton Horde it's best to put it on a little bit thicker. Uh, let it run into all the crevices. There's lots of cracks on the underside of the body. Uh, so there's uh, lots of places for it to run really nicely. Using the uh, the scales on its side there as the guide as to how far up the model you should go. Uh, and then I just did the arms and the legs as well. And I'm going to come back with some uh, some red to go over the top of those. So because it's such a light colour, you can you can go over it. So with that done, we're moving on to the red, and for that we used Flesh Terrors Red. I'm just being very careful now. I mean, you're still using a fairly big brush, but I'm still being very careful when, when I get to that uh, part where it blends into the, the, to the skin underneath. Uh, I do think uh, later on I'd, I'd switch to a smaller brush just to do the edges, uh, which you might not actually see in the video, but... Uh, yeah, you can, you can pretty much just use the edge of that brush there like that, just to create the straight line that you need along the, along the scales. So with that done, we're moving on to the spines now. And the spines I used Black Legion. Uh, you could have used Black Templar and that would have sort of created the, uh, the highlight for you and the, uh, the shading. Uh, but I used Black Legion because I was going to do some dry brushing mainly on the model as well. So there's a lot of dry brushing involved in this one. Uh, once all the base coats are on, uh, and this is pretty much the last one now really, we're, we're doing all the edging on the spines there, we're doing all the edging on the uh, the legs and the arms, and we do the fingernails, the talons as well, uh, all in that. So moving over to the first dry brush now. So we're gonna dry brush the skin uh, I'm going back to Wraithbone, that's what the model was undercoated in. Uh, and as you can see, it picks up really, really nicely, just kind of makes it a lot paler. Uh, not quite so, uh, so dark as the Skeleton Horde has made it. Uh, concentrating mainly on the underneath of the model, because that's where the, where the model's going to be naturally lighter anyway. But I think this gives a really good effect for the skin. Uh, and obviously doing a, a reasonably heavy dry brush uh, just leaves it all in the in the recesses. So it looks like you've spent a hell of a lot more time on it than you actually have. So the next dry brush, uh, oh, I'm, I'm still on Wraithbone at the moment, but the next dry brush is going to be for the reds. Now I used two, uh, two colours for the red. Uh, probably could have missed out the first one completely because I, I, it just didn't seem to make a lot of difference to the overall colour. <clears throat> well, I did spend a lot of time doing the uh, doing the red bun. Okay, now we're on to the red. So the first uh, red I used was Wazdaka red, and uh, to be fair, there wasn't a lot of difference by the time I'd finished. Uh, the camera doesn't seem to pick it up very well at all. Uh, but even with my eyes, it was not as highlighted as I wanted it to be. Uh, so I decided to do a second round of uh, dry brushing uh, using Wild Rider Red. That's so difficult to say. <clears throat> yeah, so this is still the, the Wazdaka Red, I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, but it didn't make much of it. You see there, side by side, <clears throat> it didn't really make much of a difference. So I decided to go in with the uh, Wild, Ride, Wild Rider Red, just to try and uh, lighten it up even more. I think this, you can see more of a difference straight away with this one. You see, so you, you can miss the Wazdaker out if you want. If anything, it creates another layer and it's it's nice to, to have layers, isn't it? Uh, I did consider going over with uh, with an orange. I can't remember which orange I was going to use now, but I did consider going over it again in an orange. Uh, but I talked myself out of it. I thought it might have been a bit too light <clears throat> against the uh, against the the black. Uh, 
Okay, so moving on, we did the. Uh, so on the base here, what I've done is I've I've, I've glued some stones to it. Uh, I used some sand, uh, and all I'm doing now is I'm covering all of that in uh, Saigor Brown. Still not 100% sure what I'm doing with my bases. I wanted a bit more grassy, jungly feel, but yeah, it's it's not happening at the moment. Uh, moving on to the next highlight, and this is of Dawn Stone, and this is across all the spines on the back of the uh, the carnosaur. Uh, this is a really effective uh, way of getting a, an edge highlight on, on, on everything. Uh, it's obviously not as pretty as doing it all individually, but this saves a hell of a lot of time. And it gets a, a nice visual effect, especially if you're just going for table, table stop, tabletop standard. I think it really stands out. So with that done, it's time to tidy up. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going back with the wraith bone uh, and tidying up all the things that we still need to do. So these are the straps down the side. Uh, I just did the ones on the top, you don't need to do them underneath, you've only got skeleton contrast on and uh, most colours that you're going to use to do these straps, you probably don't need to undercut the, the skeleton hard ones again. <clears throat> so there's, there's quite a lot of strapping on this, uh, this model, I didn't realise it until I was tidying it all up, but yeah. And now I'm taking Saigor Brown. No, I didn't. That's not true. What did I use? I used Gorgrunt Affair for the straps. I just did a nice simple coating of that down the, down the side of each, each one. Uh, here we were painting the stones and we're back on the base. We used Black Templar on the stones because that, that gives a, a nice sort of grey black colour. Uh, when it dries, so uh, I covered all the stone area up in that colour in the black templar. And I must have missed out the gold section here. So we did retributor armour. Uh, this is me relaying, relaying the retributor armour uh, on top. Uh, so what we did is retributor armour followed by Agrax Earthshade, and then relay the Retributor Armour just to brighten it up in the in the higher spots. I must have missed that out, I do apologise. <clears throat> so yeah, just building up the colour again, so it, it's not as bright as just Retributor Armour, the Agrax Earthshade brings it all down, gives it a much nicer golder feel, and then you relayer it again in the high high spots just to create that uh, that that nice sparkle and it looks more natural uh, this is me redoing repicking out the teeth uh, I think you, it may have it has actually cut out what I did here in in the mouth and in the jawline there uh, I used a carabag crimson to create that sort of purpley look that you can probably just see now. So I just did a nice, uh, simple, very small layer of, of carabag crimson and then just re-pick out all the teeth in the wrist bone. And then I'm doing a dry brush here of Monfang Brown on the base, just to lighten it all up. And then a dry brush of Dawnstone across the rocky areas, just to lighten them up a little bit. And then another dry brush on the base, this time of Karak Stone. And I pretty much cut everything. Uh, I got all the sandy base and the rocks. Just to give them uh, that lighter look. And it creates a really nice sort of three-tone uh, colour to everything. And I just put some tufts of grass on it and some uh, 
bracken there at the bottom. I did some barbed bracken uh, and now I'm just painting the, the rim of the base in the colour of your choice. I'm choosing black on this uh, this occasion. And there she is, uh, all done and dusted in all of her glory. All the gold was done with uh, Retributor Armour, Agrax Earthshade relayed with Retributor Armour and hopefully I will catch you in the next one.